Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? What the fuck do you want, dude? Oh, why? No, I don't. Play some Smash or something? Smash. Or just, you wanna... Dude, don't you have shit to why, why? do? What the so fuck mean? are you doing? Go chill. get your shit right, together. Chill. Get your life together. Yo, don't hang up. Stop don't, don't calling up. me. You? No, You're such wait, a chill. fucking piece. All right, well, guess I'll get some work done. Uh, we've got a bogey right across trying to get some work done. He's trying to be productive. We're going to need you to get in action as quick as possible. As quick as possible. This is a code red. Get in action now. Disclaimer, productivity does not equal self-worth. You do not need to be productive 100% of the time. Productivity is probably one of the weirdest topics out there. It's so fucking simple, yet it's so goddamn hard to understand. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, dude, what the fuck, this shit ain't rocket science. What do you mean difficult to understand? And I retort by saying, shut up. I'm here to speak some pure goddamn facts. As you can tell by my once per eon upload schedule, I'm a master of productivity. And I'm going to bestow my wisdom upon you, the humble viewer. Also, I'm talking about how to be more productive, not more organized. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. Now this next topic I'm finna talk about, I did some research. Yeah, that's right, I was slaving away for this one, boys. So get ready, it's time to talk about motivation. So you ever just sit there knowing damn well you should be getting something done, but you aren't. But it's not like you're sad or burned out, you just don't really feel like it. Well most people would just chalk this up to being lazy. Dig a little deeper and you'll find it's actually a lack of motivation. Pull out the half inch heavy duty low speed spade handle drill slash mixer and dig even more and you'll find out why you aren't motivated. So there are two types of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation comes from within, while extrinsic motivation comes from without. Out? Outside? Uh, well, extrinsic motivation comes from external factors. There's other more complicated psychological things that can impact your motivation. The reason why I'm focusing on these is because what your intrinsic and extrinsic motivations are is something that most can figure out with some introspection. And figuring that out can help you be more productive. Wait, wait, do you guys hear that? It's fucking example time. So let's say you're a trap beat producer. Your name is uh, um, Dasani, Dasani the Sauce God. So your current project is putting together a little mixtape. If your primary source of motivation is that you want to be the best producer possible, and this mixtape is your way of improving and reaching that goal, then you are intrinsically motivated. On the other side of that coin, if your primary source of motivation is the possible success of your mixtape, then you are extrinsically motivated. Being intrinsically motivated is generally beneficial to your mental health. You know, cause ambition drives you towards being a better person. Being extrinsically motivated usually benefits in the sense that you expect a reward for hitting a certain level of quality, making it easier for you to strive for that quality. A good example being is that you make a great mixtape, which results in you getting great reviews, which leads to you gaining an audience, which can help bolster your career. So why does any of this matter? If you're lacking either type of motivation, then you'll have the hardest fucking time getting work done. It takes both to be productive in the long term. Expecting a reward, whether that be physical or just some form of external validation, might make you a straight up productivity machine for your current project, but that'll never last. In the mixtape example, if your numbers don't rise and you don't gain critical acclaim, then over time you'll be less motivated to continue producing. Or the more common thing, not expecting any of that attention at all, so you don't even give it a try in the first place. This means you'll reach a point where you're only going to be motivated to do work if you see physical results. We all know humans really care about the meaning behind their actions in the long term. If you rely on others slash other things to create that meaning for you, then it's no longer up to you when you are or aren't motivated. It's up to others. If you're purely motivated by the will to improve, it'd be great and be the best human on the motherfucking planet. Then you'll eventually be like, yo. 
This is because that validation from others is important. The monetary slash career related gains are important. If there's no physical reward, or at least a good fucking job from someone, it's difficult to be productive in the long term. Falling back to the mixtape example again, if you only care about bettering yourself, then you'll only want to work when you expect to see results in that regard. You'll only continue to work on your mixtape if you are in a constant state of visible improvement while doing so. Anyone who's ever worked on anything knows this kind of motivation takes a lot of mental fortitude to maintain consistently, which is why it's not ideal to be your only source of motivation. If you have neither intrinsic or extrinsic motivation, then you'll feel like you have no reason to do anything. You're missing the yin and the yang. You got nothing. This could be indicative of a mental health condition or the need for some lifestyle changes. And since I am not here to diagnose you with depression, let's talk about some lifestyle changes. And by lifestyle change, what I mean is you need to sit there and think, what intrinsically motivates me? What extrinsically motivates me? Am I missing either of these things? Am I missing both of these things? Am I lonely? Am I not confident? These concepts feed into everything that you do, so they can change depending on what you're doing. And the biggest part is that this can all be happening in your subconscious. And so you feel like, why am I not doing anything? I have these things that I need to do, that I want to do, but I'm not doing them. Why? Being able to answer that question is the best way to be more productive. Also notice in these scenarios, buying an organized binder in a fucking file cabinet ain't gonna do shit. Online, you'll see advice on how to organize yourself often, but if organization isn't the source of your lack of motivation, then being more organized isn't going to make you more productive. Go figure. Moral of the story is stop using laziness as your reasoning behind not being as active as you want. I don't mean this in the sense that laziness is an excuse. It's just that calling yourself lazy almost never means anything. Even if you skip out on a basic homework assignment because it's boring as shit and you'd rather play fucking Guitar Hero, laziness isn't the way to describe your inaction. If you think about the things that intrinsically and extrinsically motivate you to do something, you might find what you're lacking and why you aren't being as productive as you want. If it isn't due to physical or mental exhaustion, there are some psychological reasons as to why you don't do what you gotta do, or why you procrastinate. Maybe you weren't talking to your family enough. Maybe you need to believe in yourself more. I don't know, I'm not a fucking therapist.